Geralt? I've taken Beringer's job, decided to handle this problem myself. We have a serious problem. The underwater city is the source of the village's wealth. A while back, a group of our divers went missing. Later, we found their boat adrift. Inside, it was Slaughter Witcher. Someone cut them to bits. Then we learned the Vodjanoi worship a monster that thirsts for human blood. They make bloody sacrifices to it on the island. If you eliminated that monstrosity... Have you tried talking to the Vodjanoi? That makes no sense. They don't understand our language. Anyway, the underwater ruins are of a human city. We're fully entitled to what's there. Kill Dagon. That's the monster's name. The entire village will be grateful, and I'll give you one of my grandfather's diamonds. I'll do it. Dagon emerges from the water when blood runs down the altar. Fish people bleed too, you know. I was supposed to slay Dagon. How is it going with the Vodjanoi? It's not that simple. I need more time. Geralt? Farewell. I'm bored. I know something you don't. Like what? The funny fish man has come back. Those evil fish people finished eating from the lady's altar. Disgusting! The Vodianoi priest has returned? I must speak with him. Talk! Gulpul Talur! I saw a hostile Vodianoi on the shore. They be evil Dagon Nalbatol. This love lady's altar. I must had flee. Now they in water and I guard altar again. I've taken Beringer's job. Tell me about this conflict. We underwater live deep. We lady love, yet not all. Many Dagon love, lady leave. The humans kill. I plead your sword, Dagon, this love. My give reward. I see. Big blood bovine in village, Dagon for her come. This love, Dagon, my give reward. Something sword, something wonderful. You want me to steal the cow and use it to bait Dagon? This love, big blood bovine on altar. Dagon come from deep. I'm supposed to kill it on the altar. Prefer human sacrifice. Urarlalur. I'll think about it. Yes? Milady, do you approve? You sent a troubled soul into the beyond. You revealed Alina to herself with a song. True. Yes? Milady, you look pensive. Sometimes I see the future, Witcher. Destiny has entangled its threads round a Witcher. His path leads into a dark future, into sadness and pain. I wish to help him survive. Who is it, milady? You, or Berengar. Speak with him, and may one of you take up Destiny's thread. I'll speak to Berengar. Yes? Milady, can I do anything for you? The peace of my land has been disturbed. 
The humans and the Vodianoi quarrel due to greed, fear, and misunderstanding. I assume each side has an informal leader. You assume correctly. You may speak to the Vodinoi priest near my statue. Julian represents the humans. I'll tend to this. Who is in the right? It's not about who's right. I want them to reconcile. Then you must slay Dagon. To do so, bring me objects symbolizing harmony from both communities. I'll return soon. You will find clues on the nature of these objects on the statue. Geralt? An agreement with the Vodianoi is possible. Think so. That is the will of the Lady of the Lake. Care to take issue? No, Witcher. I'm no fool. In that case, I'll need something that symbolizes your devotion to her and your desire to achieve peace with the Vodianoi. Of course. What shall I give you? The alabaster figure depicting a young Vodianoi capturing a water elemental. Here it is. It would have fetched a fine price in Vizima, but peace is more important. Yeah. Have you spoken with the Lady of the Lake? Goddesses don't speak to mere mortals. Spare me the sarcasm. So what momentous news did the local goddess divulge? Just don't get all momentous on me. She spoke about destiny. Destiny doesn't interest me. But if you want to play hero, be my guest. I'll even help. See, I tricked you recently. What? Salamandra actually forced me to betray a few formulae. Subjected me to some tests. I didn't even protest. They paid me well. Why? You know why. I wanted to marry, have children, friends, a normal life. The witches robbed me of that chance. This is nothing new to you. Humans hate me. When they see my eyes, they blanch in fear. And children. Tell me, what's the difference between your dear Camoran and a salamandra lab? I'm not here to tell you I'm any better than you. Leave. The mere sight of you irks me. I'm beginning to doubt myself. I have the distinct feeling you're not telling me everything. How perceptive. There is one more thing. Salamandra wants Alvin. I don't know why, but he's important to them. They sent me here to find him, but I have no intention to. I just want to earn some arms and leave, for good. So, you know nothing more about the attack on Kaer Morin, about the stolen Witcher's formulae? Not a thing. Then I have just one request. Stay away from Alvin. Yeah. Farewell. Talk. Gulpul Talu. The Lady of the Lake wants to help resolve the conflict. Lialul be what? The Lady of the Lake wishes the Vodianoi to live in peace with humans. Killing their favorite cow wouldn't help. Yet Dagon must is loved me. I can take care of that too. But you'd have to give me something. Mm. Oh, big blood bovine, better idea. Oh, yet obedient must be for Lady. Oh, choose. The gold bracelet. Hmm. I'd like to get a letter to Vizima. <sighs> Thanks. Hmm. Take care. Yes. Berengar has no interest in destiny. Clearly my vision pertained to you, Geralt. If you say so. When the time comes, I shall aid you with a gift. Yes? Milady, I have had a revelation and wish to embark on a mission. Geralt, I'm warning you. The Hermit helped me come to an understanding. Tell me. Soon I will depart. I don't know if I'll find my grail, but I must. I shall not keep you. I do understand your sorrow, your solitude. If I can do anything. 
Cease treating me like a goddess. I have enough worshippers. I lack one who sees me as other than the object of a cult. Milady, simple folk, they don't understand. I judge them not. But let's return to your desire to help. Begin by paying me a compliment. Hmm. I'm no good at this. Milady, uh, your wisdom is inferior only to your goodness. Enough. I choose not to believe you don't find me attractive. Rather, I blame your famous scruples. Milady, your eyes are like stars glimmering in the night sky. Distant and cold. Weak, Witcher. Your ass puts others to shame. <laughs> None has ever paid me such a compliment. My brave knights only praise my soul, though I knew where their eyes fixated. Regardless, Geralt, must I tell you my desire, or can you divine it? Why the Fisher King? Hmm. Shinaz called you clever. Yet your voice betrays that tone so typical of males who think they may treat their lovers as property. Milady, I... You think yourself the only, the best, the biggest. Milady... Males are all alike. I'm sorry. I'll be going. You're too old to take offense. Not everyone can master the bedroom. I'm going. I jest. It wasn't that bad. Now we are even. Milady, are these what you wanted? Indeed. Here, pour a drop of my blood onto the altar. Challenge Dagon to a duel. So be it.
killed Dagon. In gratitude, I will part the curtain of mists, allowing you to recall something of your past abilities. Thank you, milady. Use my gift wisely. Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? Neil, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, Milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. Berenger? I betrayed Kier Morin's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours. I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Geralt of Rivia! I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Railer. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If you cover, you will Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are...
My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvialep Shahil commands, and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyatel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. Yes? I thought the Order only accepted the devout. I'm a mercenary, not a monk. I work for anyone willing to pay for non-human heads. Even other non-humans? You have to draw the line somewhere. During the war, my unit provided cover for retreating civilians. The Scoyatel were the vanguard of the Nilfgaardian army. I think I know how this ends. Do you? They slaughtered my whole unit. Merciful, given what they did to me. Ever been tortured, Witcher? War is cruel. It warps us all, not just elves. Pacifist crap. Fall in, dogs! Hmm. I negotiated a peace between the humans and the Vodianoi. I also defeated Dagon. Mm -hmm. Nothing to say again? Mm -hmm. Care to try? A short magic word. I know you can do it. Mm. Come now, before I decide you're a grumpy boob and a dimwit. Hmm. Grumpy boob. Dimwit. Because I don't feel the need to talk incessantly. I may not be the most talkative, but a grumpy boob and a dimwit? That's harsh. Well, you're welcome anyway. As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non-humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoyatel are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries. Yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Rayla, Witcher. With the Order. Against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No. To support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts. Geralt? Dandelion. Teruviel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you. What a dump. My old bones. Yes? You all right? No. I feel strange. I can hear what they're thinking. It's terrible, Geralt. Do you have the necklace? Yes. I wear it all the time. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? The elves refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but still they fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt at halting evolution. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Teruviel. Stay here. Geralt, why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. 
there will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. At least let Alvin go. No. Yes? White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from Vizima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? Exactly. What should I do? Find the Fisher King and tell him to be ready. We're going back to Vizima. All right. See you at the lakeside. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command. When I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well... How did it go? Will you be all right? You're only one woman, after all. I freed myself from tougher situations. Farewell. Tell me what happened. I decided to stay out of the fight. What of the elves? And I don't care who won. The victors should arrive at any moment. Time to abandon this post. The Fisher King's boat is taken. We'll meet again. Geralt? Berengar. I have his confession. It contains some clues that could be important. Clues? We haven't finished with Salamandra. Azar Javed, the mage who attacked Kaer Morin, is somewhere in Vizima. He feared neither sorcerer nor the hosts of the damned. You're raving, Dandelion. And walked bravely on, his destiny to meet. 
Let's go. This is bad, really bad. What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is, then. After you.